Okay, we've got another episode of the Hall Effect Saga. I've got uh, Arduino, I've got magnet on a stick here. I have this oriented so that that is the south pole. That'll uh, turn on and off the Hall Effect sensor. This is the same as the simple Hall Effect circuit. It's going to an Arduino. Uh, green is ground, red is plus 5, white is going over to pin 5 on the Arduino. If I bring this close we'll get a 0, pull it away we'll get a 1. Let's write the code. So let's start the Arduino IDE. And we start out with the setup function. Let's set up the serial port. I like to go with the fastest baud rate I can. We just set the pin mode of pin 5 where our input comes into an input. Then we have the main loop program. Wait a second. And that looks like the program. Let's see whether I made any typos. That looks good. Uh, let's see whether that works. Uploading to the Arduino. See the lights blinking there. We should be ready to go. Look at the serial monitor. Okay. So what we expect to be happening is happening. You can see we're getting ones. Nothing there. Put the magnet there. Close to zero. Take the magnet away. Back to one. If we do it faster than once a second, it's not going to do anything because it doesn't change because I'm only reading it once a second in this. So that's the next thing to work out is how to count the number of pulses that come into it without having this kind of a simple loop. So that's going to be the next little bit of software. And as you can see, uh, this is going to this thing's going to be tough to hold up next to a rotating machine without getting destroyed. So we'll have to build some kind of a, a sensor probe and a cable. So currently, I'm thinking about uh, taking this pin and sliding the sensor in there and getting a nice probe that I can hold up against piece of rotating machine. So that's going to be next. Till next time.